communication is super easy for the islanders of um, Lago Mero. Uh, they can communicate with each other from up to five kilometers away. The language was initially created due to the very difficult landscape of Lago Mero. Um, basically, it's full of hills and ravines that make it really difficult for communication long distance. Um, so they developed a whistling language that would carry for miles and miles so they could talk to each other from opposite ends. Um, the origins are disputed. According to Yara Slotstein, um, it was brought by settlers from northern Africa. Others say that it was developed in the Canary Islands originally. Um, it was normally passed down from fathers to sons as it was used as a farming technique. Um, they farmed over large areas of land, so they needed a way to communicate with each other through that. Um, later on, the language began to um, change. It began to merge with Spanish after they were colonized by the Spanish in the 15th century. Um, and from then, they used the language as a warning signal for something called the Guardia Civil. And the Guardia Civil was essentially a task force that called on the natives um, to help them put out mountain fires all over the land. Um, and they would warn each other when these, this task force was coming because they were never compensated for their time and work. Um, the language only has two vowels and four consonants, um, and it mimics Spanish syllables. It sounds a little bit like this. language continued to be widely used for hundreds of years um, until they began to stray from agriculture. And from there, it kind of developed a little bit of a negative connotation as they no longer needed agriculture as their main source of food. Um, so they began to associate it with poverty and farming, and so it began to dwindle from there. Um, in the 1950s, it reached a huge decline um, with advancements in technology, the economy wasn't great, so people were immigrating away from the country. Um, therefore, it just reached a huge, huge decline. Um, it was revived again in the 20th century. Um, according to the linguist Gator, UNESCO has recognized the importance of this language, designating it a masterpiece of oral and intangible heritage of humanity in 2009. They recognized the language as a historical treasure, and from then on out, it was mandated um, in academic classes for the children to learn the language um, in order to preserve it and pass it down from generations to come. Um, and it's only spoken by 22,000 people in the whole world. Uh, Silvo Gomero is one of the rarest languages in the world. It is full of rich history from its origins from Northern Africa to its use in the Spanish Civil War um, and to its rapid decline and revival in the most recent years. It's changed so much in the past thousands of years, I can only imagine how much it's gonna change from here on out.